Race View Network's Weekend Grab-Up is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by the American Quarter Horse Association. Hello and welcome to our final Weekend Wrap-Up of 2016. I'm Jim Byers. The weekend before Christmas featured big races primarily at two tracks, Evangeline Downs and Los Alamitos. So they'll be the focus of our stakes recap. In Opelousas, Louisiana, a multiple stakes card on its closing night Saturday featured the Evangeline Downs Derby and Futurity. The Derby offered a purse of $156,000 plus at 400 yards. It's set up as a showdown between two Jose Sanchez trainees, second favorite and number two qualifier politically corrupt. First is the favorite and top qualifier, Ivan James. They are off in the Evangeline Downs Derby, and Ivan James got away very well down there on the inside. Moving up on the far outside is Jess being the hero. Also advancing in the center is Politically Corrupt. Moving up as well is Bloomer Ride. Ivan James down on the inside in front. Jess being the hero trying to close in. It's Ivan James. Ivan James wins the Evangeline Downs Derby. Ivan James leads virtually every step to hold off Jess being the hero and Bloomer Ride with Politically Corrupt fourth. Ivan James is turning into a nice replica of his dam, first dash and bye. She was a multiple graded winner in the Pelican State with nine wins and three seconds and 12 starts. He improves to six wins and 10 starts for the same owner and breeder, Jorge Morales. Jose Sanchez, the winning trainer of this colt by Ivory James. Raul Ramirez, the job. The time 19.825 seconds. Like Evangeline Downs, Los Alamitos wrapped up its meet over the weekend. It won't be a long layoff for Los Aldo as it reopens December 30th. The final stakes race of the 2016 meet was Sunday's Grade 2 Southern California Derby. This 400-yard test offered a $168,500 purse. It came down to a tight finish between number 10, Uno Corona Moss, and the 7, time for Jess, to his inside. Uno Corona Moss gets the decision under Jesus Ayala. It's the first stakes win for Uno Corona Moss, a California-bred colt by one sweet Jess out of the Corona Cartel mare, Corona Mas Feet. Winning trainer Elena Andrade bred this colt, who is owned by Oscar Andrade and Steve Burns. Top qualifier time for Jess is second with Dynasty Energy third. Final time 19.813 seconds. One of the most impressive arrivals this fall at Lone Star Park was Ian Capo, who rose from relative obscurity to top all qualifiers and then win the grade two dash for cash futurity. On Saturday, this $8,500 yearling added another rich futurity to his list as he led every jump in the Evangeline Downs futurity. 400 yards is the distance, with a purse of $306,000 plus. Wearing number six, Ian Capo is the overwhelming 3 to 10 favorite. They are off in the Evangeline Downs Futurity. And Platinum FDD down on the inside started sharply. There goes Ian Capo right in the center. Moving up on the outside, one sweet picky. PYC Disco also trying to come on. And now splitting horses is Accountably, who's closing strongly. Ian Capo in front, Ian Capo stays undefeated. He gets tested a bit late by Accountably, but Ian Capo again proves best under Damian Martinez. Now four for four, Ian Capo is an Oklahoma bred gelding by Capo to Copy, out of the Mr. Eye opener mare Satisfying, bred by D and Betty Rape. An earner of nearly $313,000, Ian Capo races for Ruben Garcia Montemayor and is trained by Adrian Wittrone. Accountably finished a length and a half clear of show horse one sweet picky. A final note, top qualifier Max was scratched from this fight. The time 19.962 seconds. We'll have more stakes winners from Evangeline Downs and Los Alamitos coming right up after this. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. You're not just my horse. You're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by the American Quarter Horse Association.
that wraps up our show for today and for 2016. We thank you for being with us all year and look forward to seeing you again in 2017 after our winter break. From all of us at Raceview Network, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we'll see you next time on the Weekend Wrap-Up. Thank you.